Hey guys, Swordside back for another part of Pokemon Silver. And we are about to enter this building that goes right into the mountain. Wonder where it goes. Does the sign say? Uh, the reception gate. Okay. What's up? Only trainers have proven themselves hap may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right ahead, sir. Okay, what I don't get is if you were coming the to here from Kanto, you would be coming right through there. So, I think this guy is kind of irrelevant for Kanto trainers. Don't you think? Where's their check? Does this guy check him? Oh, well, whatever. So, you enter this door and you're right into Victory Road. Now, the cool thing is you need absolutely no HMs for this entire dungeon. And we are going to use that last little bit of repel that I have. And we're going to go through here. Uh, new Pokemon in here. And apparently they're higher level than I am. But there are... You can find Rhyhorn very rarely. Which is a ground and rock type. Notice that. It's not rock and ground. It's ground and rock. Because it is that cool. And there's also Donphan if you're playing Silver. And there's Ursaring. If you are playing Gold, which are the all forms of Fan P and Teddy Ursa, respectively. And there we got a Full Heal and a Max Revive. And both of which could be extremely useful when we get out of this cave. So I don't think I ever quite properly explained why I'm not catching Pokemon on the way to the Elite Four. And that's mainly because I'm saving my... I'm running out of Pokeballs, because that massive catching spree... Great. Uh, completely deadered my supplies. So. And, yeah, this cave is not going to take long at all. And there's also only one entire trainer battle in this entire place. However, there is an item we really, really, really want. That I'm working on getting right now. And I go... Okay. Gotta follow the path and run into an onyx. Now, the exit's actually r already right up there. But any smart player would go this way. Fall down this hole. Because down here is the best TM in the game, in my opinion. TM26 Earthquake. Big fan of this move. And it is going right, right there at the bottom of the bag. It is going right onto Pseudo Widow's moveset. Girafferig? Okay, I knew Arbot could, but I didn't know Girafferig could learn Earthquake. Yes, get rid of Dig. Alright, so... Now we can kind of make our way back around. There is one more item that I kind of want to pick up because it will be helpful. And because I want to show you... There was one item we passed earlier, but that's next special and I don't have the bag space to grab it. So, yeah, not worrying about it. Oh, there's a Don fan, in case you wanted to see it. Actually, wait, how many Pokeballs do I have? I'm debating with myself. I kind of want to catch a Don fan just because Don fan are awesome. See, look at that. Tanking. Don fan are amazing. I suppose I shouldn't waste Kingler, though. I'm going to need him. Her, her. Okay, we'll go one more stomp, and then we'll throw no more than three Pokeballs. That's what I'm deciding. Great. Roll out. If I'm lucky, I'll get it with this one. But when have I been lucky with catching Pokemon in this game? <laughs> uh, one. Nope. Neural up will double in power, and it did about 20 damage. So we can survive another one. Great. Miss, 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 miss. Crap. 
Okay, I don't want to waste a revive. I'd rather waste a healing item. So we're switching Kingler. Go Gyarados. You take the hit, because I don't like you. Yes, you're sparkly and shiny. And you die. Bye, Gyarados. You're shiny, but I don't care. Let me run away. So, let's get Arbok up front here. Actually, no, we'll put Giraffe right up front. So, if you go down here, you can get to this item right here, which is a full restore, which is something we want. And a wild Pokemon. Alright, so, now that we're up here, what I'm actually going to do, is I'm going to use the, up that Moo Moo Milk that's been taking up space in our inventory, to heal up Kingler, and then we are going to switch Pseudo up front, because our last battle before the Elite Four will be against our rival. Silence. Ha! I've beaten... Okay. You're invincible. I sped through that text. I don't care. Basically, he's saying how he thinks he's awesome, but he's not, because he sucks. And his off-color Sneasel. Yeah, his Pokemon are actually pretty strong now. And you fail a Screech, and you're four times weak to low kick, so that should kill you. Bye bye. And actually, I actually might keep Pseudo Widow on in on every single one of these Pokemon. Yep, see, now there's a Magneton. Now that we have Earthquake. Okay, that's just pathetic. We fought a random trainer who had a Magneton with Thunderbolt. Yours has Thunder Shock. That is the power of Earthquake. And a Haunter. I don't, I don't even care. I'm going to be training my Pokemon together anyway. So, okay. I guess we will switch Sudowoda out. Okay, fine, Haunter. Be a jerk. Ruin my plans, why don't you? I was just being a little Earthquake happy, okay? That's all right. Well, that's alright. Kadabra was like the one thing I was actually thinking I'd switch Sudo out for. Because it's the only one I don't have a super effective attack on. On Sudo And we can Shadow Ball this guy. Future set. Oh, great. And Shadow Ball should easily one shot a Kadabra. Oh, now we get Amulet Coins, so now we're good. And a gold bat. Uh, who do we have left? Let's get Deli Bird in here. Deli Bird! No, Deli Bird got out sped. Oh, disappointing. Oh, Deli Bird owned you with Blizzard. Rawr. Oh man, I cannot wait to dominate some Dragonites with Deli Bird's Blizzard. I can't wait. And sorry, Sudowoda, you're staying out of the fight. And we finally get to see his Typhlosion. And yeah, his starter's gonna be level 38 regardless. So it'll be in its final form, which you will have already seen if it was either of the other two, but for the. Chikorita users like me, you will finally see Typhlosion here. And I don't... Oh, great. Future Sight. I don't know if we've seen that used before, but basically it's just an attack that is sent forward in the future and hits you later. And I resist Flame Wheel. My special defense is not the best. 
and great, we missed. I think we can take another one. I think we can. If not, I'm horribly misjudging you, Kingler. Hit, please. Yes. Kingler. Once again, winning the battle. At very low health. Would have been funnier if it would have burned you this time. Then it would have been like that stupid mill tank. Oh, I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. Yeah, I gave him a pouty voice. I don't care. And, uh, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to go challenge the Elite Four. You go cry like a baby. Bye. So. Hello, Worthless Route. Hello, Elite Four. Nico Plateau. The place of legends. So anyway, you got your Pokemon Center here. You got your Pokemon Mart, which has basically all the healing items you'll need for this entire go-through. I don't know how much money I have, but I've been trying to... Well, I've racked up 27000 so that's decent. And this guy will explain uh, the concept of the Elite Four. Basically, you fight five trainers in a row, and if you don't beat all five in a row... You can't go back to a Pokemon Center and heal. You can use items in between, but you can't go back and heal, and you can't go switch out your Pokemon or anything like that. And I'm moving around randomly. Uh, this guy will teleport you back to Johto, because if you didn't notice, you can only fly in between the two regions. You can't fly in between the two regions. So right now, the only place in the entire Kanto that I can fly to is the Indigo Plateau. In order to go to Johto, I'd have to walk all the way back through Victory Road, walk all the way back down until I reach New Bark Town, and then I could fly somewhere in Johto. Yeah, annoying, I know. But this guy will teleport you right back to your hometown. And then, as soon as you get off your surfing Pokemon onto that first bit of land that is Kanto, you can fly right back up here, so you've got kind of easy access. So, this is going, I'm going to go train a lot. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get everybody up to about 45. Because the first Elite Four member has Pokemon starting level 40. And the last one starts, uh, the last one is level 50. So, we're going to go right in the middle of that. And that way we can easily dominate the first few. Plus, we do have kind of a odd team, so I kind of want a little level advantage. And I figure, now that we've completed Johto, let's check our Pokedex. So, basically, we have seen 180 Pokemon, and we have caught 101. That is insane. So, yep, we've seen Bulbasaur, Ivy, Venusaur, Charmander, Tremeleon. We haven't seen Charizard yet. I wonder when we will. So, Pidgeot, you cannot catch that in the wild. Furo, you can only catch in Johto. And actually, I suppose I could go back down to Furo. Uh, actually, okay, I guess not. But once you get access to the main area of Kanto, you can actually check their areas in Kanto. Uh, Pikachu, you can catch in Kanto. Sandshrew, Sand Slash, I'd have to involve that, evolve that Sandshrew. And that would require evolution. You can actually catch Nidorina and Nidorino in Kanto. Same with Clefairy. And we haven't seen either Clefable or Ninetales, because you need to evolve in order to see those. Although there might be some trainers that have them, I don't remember. And there's Wigglytuff. We haven't seen Gloom, or we haven't caught Gloom or Vileplume yet. There's Venomoth, there's Diglett and Dugtrio, which we haven't seen in the wild yet. We will. There's Persian. Mankin Prime for gold exclusive, same with Growlithe and Arcanine. And then there's all these Pokemon that we have caught. Ponyta, which we'll catch later. He's on that previous route. Uh, we didn't see any Dodrio, so I'm not sure. 
Grimer, which you unfortunately can't catch until you get to Kanto. Which is so dumb, because Grimer is a great in-game Pokemon. No. Well, wait, we haven't seen an Exeggutor yet? I could have sworn there was a trainer with one. There's Rhyhorn, which you have a rare chance of finding. And then there's number 113. The Pokemon I dread catching the most in this entire game. I spent literally hours upon hours trying to find this stupid Pokemon. And we're going to need two. That's all I'm going to say. Kangaskhan will find in Kanto. Horsey and Seedra we can catch in the Whirl Islands, which we will cover when we go after the Pokemon that mainly resides in there. Sarmi so requires evolution. Mr. Mime will catch later. Electabuzz will catch later. Those all require evolution. We can't buy Porygon yet. The J Kanto fossils are not available, except for Aerodactyl, which is through a trade in Kanto. Snorlax we can't get yet. Legendary birds from Kanto. Dratini, Dragon or Dragonite. Mewtwo, Mew, can't get those. And now we're into Johto. Now we've seen the entirety of Syndical's family. And none of Totodile's, unfortunately. We haven't even seen a Furret yet. That's disappointing. Uh, and it's Crobat, Lantern, Pichu. Yeah, we'll get around to breeding the babies when we get all the parent forms. And then I'll get around to that. And we still gotta evolve Togepi. And wow. <laughs> Can't believe how many Pokemon we've gotten so far. And there's still a ton more to get once we get into the after game. And now Heracross is ours. And that's Teddy Urson Ursaring. That's two can't either two Kanto exclusives. Oh man. It's just hitting me how long I've been doing this and how far I've gotten. And then there's Entei, the only legendary Pokemon we've seen so far. And we're gonna have to go searching.